Star Wars. Where is the Star Wars? Tell us about Star Wars. Okay. Uh, what's up, guys? Max Scoville here for Destructoid, which is typically a video game news site, but Star Wars is kind of a really significant piece of pop culture, gaming-related or otherwise, and holy shit, they're making a new one, so I'm going to talk about it for you right now. Couple pieces of news related to Star Wars. Part one. J.J. Uh, Abrams put up one of his charity videos. He's doing this kind of thing. It's a big old fundraiser for UNICEF, and basically, if you donate a bunch of money, you could win the chance to visit the set of Episode 7 in London, and you get a bit part in Star Wars Episode 7. And he put up another video just kind of talking about how this is still a thing they're doing, but he did something very sly. He shot the video in front of the new X-Wing. So, you know, it's this video that people are going to be passing around being like, Holy shit! Did you see the new X-Wing? And the whole video, Abrams is just like, So charity, sick kids, UNICEF, do this thing, and we're all just like, look at the ship. It looks like a Z-95 headhunter, but it's probably more of an X-Wing. It's kind of blue. I like that. And then at the end, a mouse droid rolls by. Um, point being, you should probably go donate some money to charity. I'm giving money to sick kids, and you might get to be in Star Wars. So, win-win all around. Win-win-win-win-win-win-win. Star Wars News Part 2, this is kind of a little bit less legitimate, and if you're trying to steer clear of spoilers, go away off the internet because that's where they live. Some information has leaked about what Star Wars Episode 7 might be about, and it sounds kind of great. So apparently it's going to start with a hand flying through space with, uh, with a lightsaber in it, and the, the hand is going to land somewhere, and John Boyega and Daisy Ridley are going to find it, and then they're going to be like, whose hand is this? It's probably Luke Skywalker's hand, let's get it back to him. And then they have to go and like, and, and track down Luke Skywalker, who apparently hasn't been seen in like 30 years since the end of Return of the Jedi, and along the way they run into Han Solo and Chewbacca. I'm guessing that at some point, after they meet Han Solo, Han Solo is going to have to jump over something, because Harrison Ford broke his leg, and I'm guessing that he probably did that jumping over something, so just crazy speculation on my part there that Han Solo might be doing some jumping in Episode 7. Anyway, this rumor comes by way of Badass Digest, and they said on their Twitter, uh, one thing that we should probably pay attention to, that if this rumor happens to be true, uh, it, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's, it's Luke Skywalker's hand. In fact, it would actually probably make more sense if it's Darth Vader's hand, if it's flying through space and landing on some random planet. Uh, I'm wondering how it doesn't just burn up on re-entry, though. D Darth Vader's hand, you know, goes falling down the turbo lift shaft in Return of the Jedi, whereas Luke's hand just goes down onto Bespin. So unless these kids, uh, you know, Boyega and Ridley are creeping around on Bespin, uh, in, which, is a, which is a gas planet, um, Tabana gas to be precise. I don't know how they'd find this stupid hand anyway. Now, one piece of information that again isn't really information, it's just word of mouth, uh, but this might be construed as a major spoiler. Apparently John Boyega plays a stormtrooper who's kind of questioning his role in the, the galaxy. Uh, and I guess he's kind of abandoned his squad and that's when he meets up with Daisy Ridley and they're doing whatever the hell they're doing. Meanwhile, there's some kind of bad guys who are making a super weapon which I guess can destroy entire solar systems as opposed to just just planets. Anyway, we don't know a whole lot about Episode 7. This is all rumors and speculation and hearsay, so take it with a grain of salt. Uh, and uh, I think really the thing that's, that's important to keep in mind is December 18th, 2015, we are getting a new Star Wars movie. And that's awesome! I'm so excited about that. Do you know why? They would have to work hard to make it worse than the last ones. The new Star Wars trilogy is like any guy that Rihanna dates after Chris Brown. You have to be f fucking alligator Satan to be worse than the last one. J.J. Abrams would have to literally be shitting for two and a half hours for these movies to be worse than the last movies. So, I'm stoked about that. I'm looking forward to it. What do you What do you guys want? Do you guys Do you guys want like some bits and pieces from the expanded universe maybe carried over? What if Max von Sydow was playing Thrawn? How cool would that be? Just paint an old Swedish actor blue? and make him talk about art galleries to Commander Pelion and be like, I can see that the, the Corellians, they have modern art. They're very unpredictable. Anyway, I'm way too excited about this. I'm Max Scoville. If you like video game news, go to Destructoid.com and normally we report about it right here on this channel. Though sometimes we do talk about Kim Kardashian and Star Wars. The end.